Lotor, though you are my son, I fear you're never going to capture planet Eris. And you and Hagar think of nothing to defeat that one little planet out there in space? With Hagar's magic, I've created an invincible fighting team, the Red Beret Robots. Hagar's magic. Are you sure the old witch isn't just wasting her time? Every Robeast you and Hagar have created has been defeated by the mighty Voltron. So you've come up with another one of your marvelous inventions. What's so special about these red whatever robots? If you'd come to the arena, Father, I could show you. I've been to the arena many times to see your robotic creations. They cavort about, spew flames, and make hideous sounds. They look evil, but after they fight mighty Voltron, you can bring what's left home in a trash can. Oh, well, let's see what sort of spectacle you've arranged this time. You know our robot fighter beasts are powerful and fear nothing, so I'll bring them into the arena first. I've never seen our fighter beasts quake in fear before. It's because they know the Red Beret robots will be coming, sire! What? These computer-powered commandos look almost human. Hagar's magic worked well. Very interesting. Lotor? You might have something this time. I'll let them spread confusion throughout Aris. Yes, and the Robeast will mop up. Hagar, this new Robeast will carry our Red Beret robots to planet Eris. Then, they'll commence with their destruction. <laughs> If only we had Voltron's blazing sword! I've supplied the Red Beret robots with something even more effective. And it comes from planet Aris itself. Now, send them on their way. It's the middle of the night at Castle Aris. No one will even see them land. We'll release the Red Beret robots and bury the Robeast in the mountain. Now we start our dirty work, but first we must cover all sides of our landing. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. safe feeling to see those lions going by on patrol. We can thank the princess for that. Right.
everything seems peaceful enough. Back to the castle. Looks like those folks down there stopped for a coffee break. I sure could use a little nourishment myself. Wait, something's wrong down there. Let's check it out. must have scared them away. No coffee break. The machine is smashed. Koran, come in, Koran. This is Lion Patrol calling Castle Eris. Koran, come in. I was just going to contact you, Keith. We've been getting reports all morning of humanoid robots frightening the wits out of the citizens. So that's what's been going on around here. Scare tactics. I wouldn't be surprised if Lotor's behind all this. Pidge, Lance, go search the mountains. Check! Right, Chief. The rest of us, back to the castle. All those circled X's are where the robots struck last night. The people were so scared and shaken that nobody has been able to give us identifications. Which means there are very few clues as to who sent them or where they came from. But from what you tell us, they sound like the work of Witch Hagar. Hey, what's that? Pidge, do you see what I see? Sure do. Looks like there's something down in that old volcano. But what? And when we got in close, there were these flashing lights like someone or something was working down there, digging for something. Can you patch us in for a look? Coming up! What could it be? Telescan on! Years ago, that was a live, hot volcano. But now all that's down there is cold lava dust. Sir, people from all over the kingdom are storming the palace, and I'm afraid my men can't control them much longer. Coming. You must speak to the people. What's happening? They look angry. Why are they here? What are they shouting? Down with Allura? They're all blaming me, but I've always tried so hard to be a strong protector of my people. She risks her life for them, and that's gratitude? There must be something we can do to quiet and reassure them. I can shut them all off real fast! Give it to them straight! Punk, wait! Don't try to talk me out of it! This is not something you can settle by just going down there and bashing a lot of heads together! Keith is right. These people have been terrorized enough for one day. They've lost confidence in us. What they need is reassurance, not more fear, Hunk. I'll try! Down with the princess! Don't yell at the princess! Thank you, Hunk. You're very courageous, but this is something I have to do alone. They won't be happy until they get some real good answers. <laughs> Fear is such a wonderful weapon. It makes people distrust even their friends. And soon, like little lambs, they run to anyone who promises protection. And I'll be there. <laughs> Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. The entire kingdom is fleeing from those humanoid robots. They're storming the castle and demanding refuge here. Let them in. There's not enough room for everyone. Then what? Just women and children? Hiding alone is not the answer. We must set a plan in motion to fight these robots. Yes, Koran? But first, we have to restore the people's confidence in themselves. And the princess. Exactly. 
And that we can do with the lions who have proven many times that they can protect this planet and the rest of the galaxy. Yeah! Why, just their very presence makes the people feel safe and secure. But Koran, we can't guard everywhere. It's too big a place. Once the people feel secure, I'm certain they'll be able to fight back themselves. After all, according to latest reports, these Red Berets are not superhuman, but merely robots. Just robots? From Lotor? That's what I think. They gotta be! If Lotor's behind this, we don't have a minute to lose. I'll talk to the people. Get the lions. We'll show them Allura's a strong leader. Let's go! Find out what they could be digging for in this old volcanic crater. No time, they want us back. You're puzzled, eh? See what lava dust can do to your lions. If we are to survive these attacks on our land, we must not just look to our leader for protection. We must join together to fight them. Only then, with our princess's lion standing guard and your own courage, will we be able to beat back this scourge that has beset our planet. Now go back to your homes and prepare to defend them. Grant is right, it's up to us. We've got to fight for what's ours. We were wrong to blame the princess. She's done more than her share. Long live Princess Alora! I can't believe they'd strike here so openly. Humanoids! Coming straight at us! Robots! Fire spinning laser blades! Bear off! Use the lava dust! Missed! And they're headed for me! My lion to stone! That's why they wanted the lava dust! I'm frozen solid! A fitting end, noble lion. You become your own statue. I'm really locked in tight! I can't lift a foot off the ground! More trouble! Enemy spacecraft at one o'clock! I reach you! Got it! Right behind you! I'm on it! Now comes the row beast! I knew it wouldn't be long! Proton missiles! It bounced right off! You must help them. Come into the palace. We'll take as many as we can. Raise the gates. Look out, princess! Hold on, princess. I'll take a shot at it. Aim rockets. Fire. That robe beast is just eating up 
lot of missiles. Coran, only one force is strong enough to knock that thing out. But with me grounded, we can't form Voltron. Maybe I can find a way to get you going. What petrified your lion? Volcanic dust. Through some of Hagar's magic, they must have been able to reconstruct the molecules of the lava so that it could be used in its semi-liquid form. When it's flowing down the side of the mountain, after it erupts, it's quite pliable. But hardened into volcanic rock, it's immovable. Wait! You may have given me a way out, and I'll need heat. Hot as a volcano! We can furnish that. Lions! Yes! Hit the black lion with all your thermoblasters. We got it! We may do more harm than good. We'll find out! Ignite lion torches! You're trying to bite off more than you can chew! Okay, hunk, pour it on me hot! This is gonna hurt me a whole lot more than it hurts you! Our fire doesn't seem to be melting that rock. Proton missiles! We haven't even made a dent. What I need is to be hit with something as hard as what we're pouring at that roe beast. He used our own volcanic rock to imprison you, so it's only fair that his roe beast set you free. All lasers on the Black Lion. Will do! Here we go! I beam! I beam! I beam! It's working! Now, sling me straight at it! Now we can do what we do best. Let's form Voltron! Activate interlocks. Dinotherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go! Let's go, Voltron Force! So fast, Voltron. My robe beast is hungry for a big bite of you. Hang on, team. We're going for a ride. Let's see if we can shake it out of its shell.
make it count! Just lucky, Voltron, but your luck can't hold out forever. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Voltron isn't luckier than you, my son. He's smarter than you. Simon again, he sent you running home with your tail between your legs. I think perhaps you should take up stamp collecting. It doesn't look like you're ever going to conquer planet Eris. I can! With my red berets! Those red thingamajig robots? You can't use robots with funny red hats on their heads against real people. It's good to see peace again, and know the people are united once more behind their princess. Men fight hardest when they're defending freedom. And throughout the galaxy, wherever men wish to break free of the chains of oppression, they can always count on the help of Voltron, Defender of the Universe! <laughs>